What's up YouTube? Welcome. pound <clears throat> these have been listed quite a long time but i'm glad to get them gone eventually i think i paid about two pound at the car boot they're in box 10 so i'll just hunt this one down there it is box 10 <clears throat> these ones it nothing too special geox quite a quite a well-known brand they probably sat around for about six months or so, but really nice condition. So I thought there's got to be some money, at least 20 quid. So yeah, I paid about three pound and they've gone for 25 plus postage, I think. So not too bad. Oh, sorry, 25 with free postage. And next up we have these Dasco shoe trees. I paid seven pound for seven pairs of these. I've sold all the rest apart from four. So I think I've sold the others for 15 pound each. And then I just wanted to get rid of them. So some guy offered me 30 quid for four pairs which is you know pretty decent seeing as i only paid like they owe me about four four pound so yeah these are in box 23 just here <coughs> not one two and three four there you go shoe trees nothing special but 30 quid in the bank there we go So this is second to last, this one here. This is the Bose Soundox Series 2. This is uh, this is sold for £75 with £7 postage. Let's get it out. It's in box number three over here. This one's a really juicy sale, this one. There it is there. So it's the Series 2, it's got the curved edges. Old, old school iPod connection, 30 pin connector. It will also say Series 2 there. If you were to pick up the Series 1, you'll probably get about 30, 35 quid with the remote and cable. But the Series 2 is actually really desirable. People seem to pay up big money for them, especially if you can get it in white, white or silver, other than black. I think black you might get about 60, but in white or silver, like I've done, I've got 75 pound for that. And you can also tell it's Series 2 by the remote. It's got the skinny remote instead of the wider one. So yeah, 75 pound with seven pound postage. And I paid 20 pound from Facebook Marketplace. So lovely flip. And lastly, we have these Nike Flex Lite 2 ice skates in adult size 10. But if you ever find ice skates, you've probably got about 50, 60 quid in them, usually 45, 50, maybe, uh, depending on their condition, their size. The smaller the size, usually less price. But adults, you can usually get over 100 quid for these. So I'll just pick them out now quickly. <clears throat> Here's a lovely uh, 
clock drum I picked up at the car boot. It's quite quirky. Paid £10 for that. Hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll sell one day, but it's been sat around for quite a while now. Here's the skates. So as you can see, lovely condition, really lightweight, not much rust on the blades at all. Hardly any scratches actually, lovely boots. And these, brand new, I saw someone get £400 for these on eBay, which is absolutely insane. And I picked these up in a charity shop for just £12.50 and I have sold them after about two months of listing for £165. So lovely, a lovely profit item and not all charity shops know the price of things because they definitely underprice these. Uh, I spoke to the buyer and he's actually going to convert these to roller skates in the summer. So that's obviously something they do. Um, yeah, I'm happy. I get my money. He gets his skates. So excellent sale. <clears throat> was the parcels all packaged, all in my trusty Sports Direct bag. If you haven't got one of these, they're brilliant. Huge bag, stick all your parcels in. I've got, I think, six in there, one there. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna go and drop them at the shop and then I'll be off to Petersfield for a little charity shop run for you. Enjoy. All right, so we've just arrived in a Petersfield car park. Uh, it's completely rammed here. I don't know why it's so busy on a Monday morning, but it is. There's not hardly any spaces at all. Anyway, we'll see what we can find. It's quite a, quite a, um, rich sort of area around in Petersfield, I, I like to think anyway. So um, hopefully we'll find some decent things, unless they're stupidly priced, which they usually are, but sometimes we'll get lucky, so we'll see what we can find. Enjoy. There we go, first purchase of the day, a Lego set, absolute win there. Eight, sorry about the noise, eight, eight pound for that, hopefully 100, 150 if it's complete. What a win. On to the next.
sun's in my eyes. Right, hopefully you can see me all right. Got about five minutes left on the parking, so I'll just be quick with this. Um, more quality over quantity, definitely, for sure, on this uh, charity shop run. I, I'll start off with the Harry Potter books. Got half blood prints, hold back, really nice condition, two quid for that. Tales of Beetle and the Bard, that uh, I think I paid 154, so I usually bundle them with the hardback Harry Potters, just to get sort of a book set out of it. And then we have, I've wrapped it up in this thing, I not damage it at all. Anyway, there's that one. And here we have the Adidas vintage shirt you saw me pick up. Looks really cool actually, I don't do clothing much, but I do if it's vintage. <laughs> That looks really cool, 550 for that. Not really sure on pricing, maybe 20, 25 if I'm lucky. I need to do some more research and see exactly what it is and what model, what year, all that sort of stuff. If you know in the comments, please drop them below. Um, <clears throat> then we have a pair of Barker shoes. I wasn't gonna get these, but I thought I might, might as well I'll pay 15 quid for them. Hopefully get maybe and try and get a 40, 45. Barker's quite worn leather, but I'll be happy with 35. So we need to pay 15 for them. Uh, next up we have this, it's actually incredible. Usually I pick up Disney traditions and they're not really worth much. But this one here, look at that there. That's a Finding Nemo, and Dory, Disney traditions. Paid £2.50 for that and as you saw in the shop, hopefully I got it on camera anyway. Sold, looking about 50 and above. So that's brilliant. Excellent find there. Just to make sure I don't break it in the meantime. <coughs> So that would have been the win of the day, but actually the win of the day is the Lego Technics um, sort of tractor set, 8849 is, and that I paid £8 for and sold to looking 100 and above. I saw someone get 150 for one, pre-owned, and brand new someone got about three, 400 I think. So excellent find, as long as it's complete, and I hope, hopefully it is. Looks to be in good condition and pretty heavy box, so pretty good I and mean, it definitely pays for my sort of hour in the charity shops anyway uh, I'm gonna go go home now and see what I can do maybe get some listings done all right guys so we're back home now so I just wanted to show you a bit of like kind of reality of the reselling game obviously this stuff was all quite successful pickups but there are slight issues with things so I'll start off with the Lego Technics if you have a look at this the box it's, it's good that it's got its box it is vintage so I, was, I expected it to be missing parts I only paid eight pounds so I mean, as spares, you know, you know, selling as spares, I'll probably still get 50 and above for it. But basically, I opened up. I should have done this in the charity shop, really. I still would have bought it, whatever, because it's even for the box alone, I reckon I could probably sell the box for about 20, 25 quid, because I've sold loads of bo empty boxes before. And they've always done quite well. Uh, basically, you're missing a tire each on those little rungs there. So it's only got two tires. All the bags are open, so <clears throat> there are a few little missing bits there. I think there should be little wheels in here which are missing. So they're, they're also missing. But basically what I'll do with this is pretty much separate it all out onto the bench, take some clear photos just showing each and every bit of what there is. And the buyer can decide if they want to buy it or not. And they, they've they probably got the spare bits at home. And I could probably still get, I reckon, 60 to 70 quid for it with the box. <clears throat> and then we have, obviously the bark is there. I reckon with a bit of cleaning, a bit of a polish up and some shoe trees in there, they should sell pretty easily. Sold similar pairs before. Obviously the Harry Potter books, they were quite good. I'll show you them before. And they will go straight in the uh, in the Harry Potter pile I've got. So I've got this pile right here. So that's the set I'm building right now. That's the set I've currently got listed, full hardback set. And then behind there, I've got a few more hardbacks and some more paperbacks. So yeah, <laughs> getting there with the Harry Potter books. They always pop up. And this one I'm quite disappointed about. Obviously it's still an amazing pickup, but if you look on the, right on the tip of Dory's fin, got a little bit of breakage there, but it's so small, I reckon I could still probably get near enough the same sort of price I was getting for it in the first place. So I think that's the only damage. If you can see anything else, please let me know, but it looks pretty clean. Again, I paid £2.50 for this, absolute steal. And I reckon with that damage, 45 maybe 45 55 we'll have to wait and see and if you have any more info at all on the adidas t-shirt please help me there as well there's the tag for you there it's not got any team on it but it just looks like a vintage sort of sports shirt there's a tag there there's no other labels on the inside apart from this one here paid £5.50 for that so hopefully it's some a decent pickup 
Right, that's all I've got for you today, guys. Thanks for watching again. Thank you again to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Uh, a lot more videos like this to come. Some car boot videos soon. I keep promising it to you, but it's just way too cold out there. It's completely icy in the morning. I, I'm just too tired to throw all that stuff. <laughs> so, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.